everybody. So here is the uh, place I wanted to tell you about. It's called embracemaking.com. And I'm just going to show you two quick things that I got. So for the Creality Falcon 2, I purchased this. And yes, it's this right here. It's the Creality Falcon 2, 22 watt or 40 watt. He has it for both laser pointer. And I'm going to show you how awesome this thing is because it accomplishes two things for you that the laser just doesn't do by itself. So one, it helps you center things or and align them horizontally or vertically with the laser, but it also gives you a much easier way to see the path of your engraving and where your engraving is going to be and to place things on the laser. So that's one that I wanted to give you. Um, the other one I wanted to show you isn't for the Creality Falcon 2. It is for the S1, but this is how I found these guys. And it was this right here. It is a X-Tool a four inch hose adapter. So I have a four inch vent in my shop for my lasers and I wanted to use a four inch uh, hose on my S1. And by getting this replacement part, cause the uh, S tool comes with a three inch hose, I was able to use a four inch hose uh, for my S1. So just wanted to show you that it's embracemaking.com. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just wanted to give them a shout out because these are awesome products. And let me go back and continue showing you what that crosshairs does and why it's so awesome. It is a laser pointer for the Creality Falcon 2. On this laser and on a lot of lasers similar to this, the little laser light inside turns on. Now you can increase the intensity but it's the actual laser and sometimes on some things it will mark things if you have it up too high and it's really hard to see through the protective glass where that laser is pointing. In Lightburn software they have a setup where you can uh, put a laser pointer on and with the appropriate offsets it will use this as the origin point. So my laser now is using this designated origin point. So that's so I can now watch that. And I also, I leveled these crosshairs. The guy shows you how to set this up. So if I put a piece of wood in here, I didn't bother with this one because I don't need it. But if I needed it perfectly level with the camera, I can, I can line it up with these crosshairs, which you can't do with the little dot inside there. You have to get like you know, some type of like level out and go up against your gantry and then try and try and line it up that way. Now I can just simply line it up with those, those crosshairs because the crosshairs are aligned. But what's even more cool is it's aligned with the laser. So let me show you what it does. So watch what happens when I hit the frame button and you can see it's now moving around, showing me exactly where that engraving is going to be in there in that square box. And then I can, if I want to use like the, the more G code style frame, you'll see it's showing exactly because I'm doing a round uh, police badge on here. And that, let me tell you, oh my goodness, does this make using this particular laser so much better. So between adding the uh, camera, which makes placing the engravings super easy because you can also if you look on my light burn screen, you'll see there is the engraving right on top of the piece of wood that's in there. So you can do it with, uh, you can also do it with just the laser by itself. You don't need both the laser and the camera, but if you have both, wow, you have like kind of the best of both worlds. And you can also do cool things like this. So watch. So if I come over here and I select this, wherever I point my pointer and click on here that laser head's going to move and it's going to use my those crosshairs as the reference so i just clicked right down here you see that little dot and you can see so that is showing me where that's going to be on that piece of wood 
and I could come up and go, okay, let's see. I want to see where the eagle's eye is going to be. Let me click here. All right, there we go. And now I will click on his eye and you'll see it just moved to where that eye will be. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do this engraving real quick so you can see it. And then, uh, and then I, I think I'll do a cutout of it and we'll go from there. But I just wanted to show you that that's embracemaking.com. I don't have any affiliation with them. I just wanted to give them a shout out for anybody that's got a Creality Falcon 2. I honestly think this and adding the camera and light burn are the two greatest accessories that you could add to this laser. It will make your life so much easier. Okay, just finished the engraving and cutting. And let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks good. There's my old badge. Perfectly cut. And beautiful engrave on some walnut plywood. That is very cool. So in the description, I will leave the link to embracemaking.com. I will also leave you the link to the YouTube video created by Embrace Making that shows how to calibrate the laser so that it is perfectly in line so that you can use it to level things and use it to do all the things that I just showed you in this video. It's been just a huge time saver for me. And I think if you get it, you're going to be really happy, especially if you've been struggling with placing things in light burn. Or if you have a difficult time uh, seeing the laser pointer through the protective glass on certain lasers, like I showed you how mine is, where it just gives you that little dot, this is really helpful uh, to solve that situation. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you all soon.